Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay until the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Explorer of that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015. If you need to find where the ignition switch fuses and relays are located, where you can find them, where you can guys buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, um, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. The ignition switch fuses and relays where you can expect to find them. We will demonstrate on this generation uh, Ford Explorer here. On that Ford Explorer, what we first need to do, we need to go ahead, guys, and open the driver door. Come under the dash on the driver's side in the footwell compartment. Behind the parking brake paddle, look up in the dash. I need to be like upside down. On the left side, you will see one black cover like this one. Press two taps here. Pull it out, behind it you will find the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out what do we guys need to check here now okay a couple of fuses then we need to go to a different fuse box first we need to check fuse number 10 right there check that fuse then you need to guys uh, go ahead and check fuse number 18 that 10 and fuse there Next, you need to go ahead and open the hood. On the driver's side here is the main engine fuse box next to the car battery. Press the tabs here, open the cover. You're going to find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Here we need to uh, check quite a few guys. Okay, fuses and relays, but quick, I forgot. In the interior fuse box, we have one more, by the way, that we need to check. And uh, we're talking about fuse 28, which will be that 15M fuse. Check it because it's very important fuse. Now, in the engine fuse box, we need to check, guys, a few more. We're talking specifically uh, about 80, uh, uh, fuse 87, that 5M fuse right here is 87 and you need to check guys 80 uh, 88 relay 88 right here and you need to check 94 guys okay that one right there all this will need to be checked on your ford explorer so guys by the way you have all kinds of different fuses relays circuit breakers and check under the hood it's even more complicated guys and even you have some special fuses okay like this one right here one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that we'll recommend to buy some put them in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time thank you guys for watching and see you next time.